Hey guys, Sword here, and this is basically a world that I created after creative mode world, wherever that one that is super flat, and I want to give you guys a seed number after I'm actually done with it. I have not yet to save it officially, it's just that I wanted to see what I could do here and what I could find, and here is one of the three ravines I actually found. So this is one ravine that goes towards, I don't know how what level it is, and here was what we'll find a stronghold. There are around like at least seven villages, another ravine, and then there's an underground ravine I have to show you guys. But for now, I want to show you guys a stronghold because one, those are one of the things that are kind of hard to find. But this world actually has everything. It already has the river, it already has the stronghold, and it has a lot of villages. I'm not too sure what a swamp looks like, but I can only assume that it's basically where the trees grow out of the water. Not too exactly sure. I have yet to know what a swamp looks like. I have to look that up so sooner or later, and hopefully I can find a swamp. But if it's too late by then, then it's, that's life. You don't always be the first, or you just don't get a video out in time. So I just be try to become formal just by opening the doors to show you guys what this has. But I keep forgetting that I'm in creative mode, and I keep destroying everything. So at one point, I don't even care anymore. I just start destroying everything. And look, there's a creeper over there. Nope, access to died. Time to get out the diamond sword because I don't want the creeper blowing up anything. So here we are, still in creative mode. Again, once I'm actually done with this world, I'll actually give you the seed number once I officially save it in survival mode. I'm not too sure how it's going to be set up. I'm going to save it as in survival mode so that nothing bad would happen. Like I have not destroyed anything. It's, everything is left untouched and unsaved. So that's how I'm going to set it up as. But here. Here's where you can find one of the ravines and then you can find a stronghold if you want to explore. Just bring a lot of torches because, yeah, you're going to get lost here. Like I got lost. You're actually going to get lost here. I have no idea how things are set up like that. I don't know how they generated a world like this or a section of a world like this. But it's honestly easy to get lost in. Now one of the things I wanted to show you guys was one of the libraries, but I just cannot find it here and I didn't want to fast forward it either. I wanted to let you guys see what this stronghold has, this long giant stronghold. That this is one place where you can literally get lost for a good 30 minutes if you don't know how to get out. And if you're in creative mode then it's easy, to, all you have to do is just dig up. Or you could do dig up, you could just dig up in survival mode, but yeah, what's the point of that? So I keep hearing zombies, I keep hearing monsters, I'm thinking like there's another room somewhere here, so I'm just going to continue digging on this one way until I actually stop, but until then, this is one of the things you could do to f in a new world that you create. You cannot find a stronghold, you cannot find a village in your old world, so you have to start up a new world, which I actually kind of like, and that doesn't bother me for Operation Bedrock or any other series that I want to do, but the only thing is, is that the low lighting glitch or lighting bug that they have. But here is where you can actually find some silverfish in the stone bricks. So here's a little tiny silverfish. It's friendly because of course I'm in creative mode so it can't hurt me. So I wanted to provoke it to make more silverfish come out. Silverfish, silverfish, I don't even know. How, I think they're called silverfish but I keep calling them silverfish because they sliver a lot as you can tell. So sorry if I keep naming it wrong like I did with the slime. They're not slime balls, they are called slimes, but I call them blorpies. So again, it's whatever you want to call it. Hey look, a spider. Go die spider. No one likes you either. I have yet to meet a cave, a cave spider yet. So I guess they're just basically the same thing as a regular spider. All it is is that they're green. And I believe you can find some eggs around there too, but who knows. I have yet to find one so I can't really say what what has or what isn't there. So I'm going to break the door, let the little silverfish go. Come on, little buddy. I like you. You're kind of cool. If only you weren't deadly, I would, I would actually have you as one of a pet. And I can't wait for ocelots. I want ocelots too. But, oh well. Alright, where am I going to go? Uh, okay, there's some room down there, so I'm going to break some stuff here. I have no idea. Oh wait, my silverfish. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are, little buddy. So, we're going to continue on down the long way of a maze again easy to get lost if you don't know where you're going especially I try to remember where I was going but I can't remember where to go to save my life so what is there to say with this stronghold if you're gonna find the stronghold might as well bring about 200 torches so that you won't get lost because there's not many places where they're gonna actually provide you a torch well that torch has already been there I have not placed on one there and that torch has already been there so you may find some places that has a torch but more or less that you're not gonna have enough torches to actually see or what's going on so another place up oh, dead end so there's a lot of places where there's going to be a lot of dead ends. So that's the second dead end I actually reached. That's another dead end I reached. And it's kind of cool that I have the iron bars there too. 
So a lot of decorations, a lot of stone bricks. If you were to break some, you probably may find some silverfish. Is this, yeah, silver? No, I, I did pronounce correct. See, it's confusing. If they would call it silverfish, I would have no problem with it, but they're called silverfish. My gosh, just, just, it's like dyslexia at this point. Just get, just all it is is just silver and silver. Just move the L and then you have a different word. Alright, I'm just going to dig up to this floor, and I believe I've already been here. I just left the silverfish behind because I didn't care at that point. I was trying to find the bookcases, and I'm still lost. I've already been here before, so I'm just going to mine up here, and then where am I going to go next? Oh, look. Okay, now I know where I'm going to go from here, I believe. There's another fountain, and then there's lava over there. Oh, look, a skeleton. Die, skeleton. You die. I don't like you. Alright, so another dead end. That place is already full of lava. I don't need to go there because I remember not to go there. Otherwise, I get more lost. And there's another staircase and there's more skeletons. I don't care anymore. I want to go where I want to go. I'm trying to find where I need to go. I just don't even know where to go anymore because you guys are in the way. Uh, why? Alright. There we are. There's where I was looking for. The bookcases. But first, I wanted to see if I'm actually able to find my way back or at least find a shortcut way back so I can actually help you guys find this place but at the same time yeah I'll just say right here I don't even know where I'm going I have no idea how to get out of there either so otherwise I'll just dig up and that's probably I'll just show you the coordinates but yeah that's no fun I'll just give you guys the seed number once I'm actually done with this world so you can actually check this out for yourself and then have fun with this if you want to make a survival mode play the level if you want do whatever you want just if you're able to actually find the bookcase faster than I can please let me know because I honestly couldn't find it for the first five minutes so I'm gonna go back down oh wait I got lost again okay there we go I'm gonna go back down take a little staircase down a spiral staircase and I'm back at the little bookcase library type deal has a good chandelier has some stuff in there and look there's a treasure chest right below so that's kind of like the reward you get for finding it, even though there's nothing good in there. It has a lot of cobwebs or some zombies. So this is basically the stronghold that you will find once you actually get to the go get to go to this world. And then there's three books in the chest. Good. That's one great reward you get for trying to find this place. Could give me a golden apple, but no. All right. So there's more tunnels here because again, this is incomplete. There's a lot of spots that are that has holes or has dead ends and has places to get lost in and I'm stuck because of the cobweb, stupid cobweb. Leave me alone, cobwebs. All right. Placing torches and now here's more of a, more or less a cave now rather than a stronghold. So if you were to find this, then you'll know that you're at a stronghold. So there's a lot of ways to actually enter the stronghold. Just better way to actually go to that ravine that I showed you guys and now the spiders and skeletons are fighting each other and look there's a creeper hello keeper I love you hello keeper hi keeper how you doing it looks like you're stuck and now you're mad oh rage quit okay so let's go down all right where are we going now I don't even know I'm lost so just honestly no way for me to get out unless if I were to dig up but this is where the video is going to end I'm probably going to show you the NPC villages or something like that in the next video but for now I am SorrowKing0090 have a nice day everybody and there will probably be a few more videos for me to upload about 1.8.2 update so stay tuned